As you can see my fighters, it seems that finally we are going to get what we were asking for and we are going to get some story update which has a new character and this time it's not any character it's actually a fusion between Gablet and Chalit so we are going to talk about it and we will watch also the scene where they talk about it but before we start don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell beside it and if you enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button and share the video with your friends now without any further ado let's just get started so first of all let's Let's actually watch the scene. All right, so here we go with Gablet. Right, this is it. And I am not about to waste. Let's go. So as you can see, it is coming tomorrow on the 28th of December. A new fusion warrior will be born. So as you can see, they are saying specifically a new fusion warrior will be born because of the fact that we have never ever seen this fusion before. It's actually an original fusion for the Dragon Ball Legends game. And that alone gives them actually a massive W. That alone. They are going to create not only a new original character, but also a new Fusion Warrior original character. This is just crazy. Like seriously, this is on another level. I can't wait to see how this character is going to look like. Although if we go by the... By the point that uh, the fusion warrior should look similar to the two characters that are fusing. Well, Geblet and Shellet are actually tw twins. And since they are twins, isn't the fusion going to look just like them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We will see actually what they are going to do here. But uh, I really hope that he looks cool. Uh, and since it is a fusion dance, he should have the same clothes as uh, Gogeta, which is going to be pretty cool, actually. We know that he is going to have the same clothes as Gogeta because even, uh, even Gotenks has actually the same clothes as Gogeta. So that will be very, very cool. And we will see how the character is going to look like. I really hope that this time this character is going to be relevant to the meta. I don't expect it to be on the level of, uh, for example, a legendary Finnish character. But I want it to be at least on the level of a sparking character that is on the level of Pan, uh, superhero Pan or Zamasu, the new Zamasu that we got actually with the Tranks and Vegeta. If if he is on this level, that is actually more than enough. We, he doesn't need to be on the level of, uh, let's say, Super Saiyan 4s or on the level of uh, Ultra Super, Go Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta or on the level of uh, basically Beast Gohan. We want him just to be useful and relevant to the meta. He doesn't need to be broken. Just as long as you can can use him in the meta without feeling that you are going to get destroyed by one card that's more than enough so i really hope that they do this this time and they allow us to use the character and since it is a fusion character that would be really cool however there is only one concern about it which is actually the fact that the new unique gouge which is basically the hour the glass hour might be for him because we saw that uh, so ultra ultra gojita blue doesn't actually diffuse which means that the glass uh, the glass hour uh, unique gouge is still actually not used so not even ultra super gojita is going to use it who is going to use it i think that they are actually the best choice for it because of the fact that this is the very first time they fuse and they are going to fuse in Super Saiyan God form. And we saw from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that if you if you fuse actually in a Super Saiyan God form. Or even Super Saiyan Blue Vegito as well. Even Vegito diffused actually much faster than what he should have uh, diffused. And that's a pretty much confirmation that there might be a chance that Geblet and Shellet might be actually a, f a fusion character that diffuse. And in case they defuse, how are they going to be? Are they going to start as a tag character? Or are they going to start as a fusion character? And how are they going to be handled? Are they going to be maybe an assist character? Maybe they start as Shallot assist Geblet or Geblet assist Shallot. 
and then you use a specific card which allows you actually to fuse and then the glass hour starts actually to go down until uh, it's empty and that's when the fusion diffuses and you return to the uh, shallot or gablet to assist the other character it could be like that or it could be maybe just a fusion character that they use directly like uh, maybe ultra super super saiyan blue gojita we will see actually how they will handle them uh, nonetheless no matter how they are they are going to be most likely a free-to-play character unless they handle them the same way as Geblet and zaha which i hope they don't uh, that is going to be very sad actually like seriously if they treat them the same way it will be really sad uh, so i really hope that they treat them in a much better way maybe give them their own event where we can farm them and give us the f the very first 100 multi z power from the um, from the from the story itself and then the rest we can farm from a different event but please don't make them pay to win like goblet and zaha because although you can buy them with middles uh, which simply doesn't mean that they are directly pay to win because you don't spend chrono crystals on them but still in order to get these middles you need to spend chrono crystals and that's why uh, it is actually indirectly pay to win characters and i really don't want to see this fusion character to be like them uh, but we will see what they are going to do with that uh, nonetheless i am really really extremely hyped actually for for the new fusion that is going to be born uh, and we have been waiting for this for a long time now since the time they actually uh, goten and tranks showed the uh, goblet and and uh, shallot uh, the fusion dance that's when we knew that there is something special that is coming and finally they are giving us it uh, it's not super saiyan blue shallot but it is 10 times better like seriously let's be honest a super saiyan blue shallot would be cool but it is just another transformation that we already know and we saw and will be actually pretty disappointing as soon as we get it uh, so seeing something completely new that's what will make us hyped that's what will make us actually want to use the character much longer than what a super saiyan blue transformation is going to to make us use and uh, i don't know what happened with legends but they actually finished the year with a massive big bang times 100 Kamehameha W. This was actually the absolute best reveals and stuff we have gotten to this date. There is nothing that can actually match the hype of this reveals and stuff. This was the absolute best period end. There is nothing like it. Like seriously. What, where did you see an ultra character on the same level of hype and animations as ultra super saiyan blue gogeta there is none where did you see a fusion a new fusion character an original fusion character in one of the reveals and stuff before never this is easily the biggest and most amazing uh w's that the dragon ball legends developers have have ever actually acquired and i am extremely happy that they finished this year with a bang because until now the year was going very very bad so seeing them at least tr turning it actually around at the end of it maybe hopefully they will continue like this now uh, for the next year and the year after it and after it uh, but for now this reveals and stuff was the absolute best and easily number one without any comparison so anyways let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below and i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends